Hi, firstly, my name is Amir Hamza bin Abdul Halim, and I'm 38 years old and the CEO of this company, which is Drone Corp. Uh, we have established this company since 2015 with two of my close friends and have grown quite a bit since we started back then. Me and my friends Azam and Sideh have been together for more than 10 years and we started to know each other when we were doing parkour, which was an extreme sport back then. And uh, we delved a lot into uh, cameras and production when we were doing that. And then one, one, one day we, we just randomly found a video of this drone on the internet. And we thought it was something cool to have and try. So uh, I just actually went out and got one. And uh, it started out from there. We, we, we recorded a few videos that went viral and uh, we started getting inquiries from there and found out that, hey, this is a niche that we can get into. And uh, it's, it's just started uh, randomly, basically. It wasn't planned. It's just something that happened because of the interest that was new back then. And we had a lot of, uh, of experience that kind of carry forward into the drone scene uh, because mostly what we did in the first few years was just uh, cinematic filming. So it's not really that difficult for us to make the transition. Back then, it wasn't really that familiar, the drone technology, so people were kind of, I would say, uh, curious about the technology. They didn't know much about how it worked and how difficult it was to control it. But nowadays, we see a lot of um, commercial drones, which are very easy to fly, pretty much flies themselves. And I guess the common stereotype is that it's, it's an easy job to do, which is not, it's not really the case most of the time, especially in more serious situations uh, like in industrial work or construction work and also you know progress reports and things like that that are more technical and also like uh, the, the data the elevation data mapping data and uh, it's a lot of technical things that uh, requires a lot of planning like uh, we oftentimes have to pre-plan the route where our drones have to fly we don't really fly them manually nowadays anymore it's all computed and then it's all planned like months before we actually fly the drones. It's growing and it's growing really fast because uh, it's more accessible now. From there, I can see that there is an interest into, in this industry and a room to grow into it. The most challenging thing is like figuring out how to do things because uh, in industries that we are not familiar with, they wanted a lot of data that we were not familiar with. So it's, it's about figuring things out and to find the kind of the right technology to work with what they want is, is the most challenging thing that I see right now. That's where my role comes in. My role is to actually try to see the newest technologies and try to implement them into the business. And uh, I can see a lot of new avenues coming in right now, especially in the more technical side of things, uh, mainly with detection technologies like radar, LIDAR. I see a lot of those uh, sectors growing, so it's, it's, that's uh, the sector that I'm trying to look into right now to grow the business. Um, my name is Siddiq Rafi Ramli. I'm 33 years old. I'm from Drone Cup Energies. I am the Head of Operations for Drone Cup um, All our Because our drones are visual based, so we mainly do photography and videography. But in terms of usage of that, that can be distributed in different industries. For example, in creative filming, we can do that for marketing, marketing videos, for brand videos, and also for it could be for events. Basically, we also have short few videos for films and also for TV series. But that is for the creative side of, of the industry. Then there is a construction side of the industry where we usually provide progress reports, we provide inspections. To provide uh, process videos and also even corporate videos and even uh, portfolio videos and assets videos. That is for the construction, but for the industries such as the manufacturing industries, the factories, we also provide housekeeping housekeeping shoots. So in terms of drones, sometimes clients they don't know that they need drones in their in their in their operations. So what we do is we actually approach them. And we propose to them in what ways we can we can utilize the drone, drone the usage of drones in their operations. Such example is probably in, in oil and gas industries. Uh, we have worked with Petronas. We have provided patient service for them, where we inspected their assets, 
inspected their all all the all the operations to to ensure your operations run smoothly. Also, we also have like uh, conducted few process shooting for them, where basically oil and gas their operation is very very labor extensive, where it could take days, weeks, or even months. We document the progress and then we edited a nice video for them. So they can use the video and you can show it to their stakeholders, to their investors, and maybe to interested parties. And also in construction, we use for progress reports. For construction, they need to inspect manually. So there is labor intensive and could take days, even weeks. With drones, we can check, we can check their sites, check their operations, and we can make a progress report for them. So it, uh, because most of our drones are visual based. So, but we, uh, in terms of usage, we have different usage, which is for normal filming and normal taking photos, and also for mapping. The reason of which is because mapping requires more data, more data, and that data needs to be processed and analyzed for mapping, and is uh, either 2D mapping or 3D mapping. And in terms of industries, we can use it for to, to show the scale of the project, to show the scale of the site and everything, and also, because before this, before drones, to inspect any, like, for example, like a tall building developer, we need the, they, they need to, you need to be checked manually, which is a person need to go up there, to climb up there and take photos. But with drones, we can use that probably just a few hours and we can easily check any inspect, any, def, any defect of the building that we can fix. Construction sites can be a very high risk activity, a high risk site and, and it can be a very high risk activity. And because even like to even like on the pilot itself, it's already dangerous because we need to wear because there are nails around, there are people carrying stuff around. Basically, a lot of ha things happening at once. So we need to ensure that we are wearing the wearing the proper PPE, wearing the proper safety boots, wearing the safety vests, and even the top helmets. So that is why we ensure that our personnel, all our pilots, are CIDB certified. So we can know what not to do and what to do when you are working on the construction sites. Like any other companies, of course, we want to go. We want to, we want to go to higher and bigger than we are today. But of course, like, like any other business, there are ups and downs in terms of your own business. So right now, we are implementing few few stages that to ensure our growth in the future. So we won't want to hire more pilots. We want to hire more personnel, more staff, and maybe we hire more editors.